This diorama shows the crossing of the Dnieper River in September 1943. By this time, the Nazis were very much under retreat. They had uh, suffered a um, convincing uh, loss at the Battle of Kursk. At the same time, in the south, Italy uh, uh, was now under attack and they had been forced to withdraw troops from the uh, east and send them to the west. Also, they suffered the uh, huge defeats at Stalingrad and Tunis. Um, uh, the Dnieper, Dnieper uh, River, though, it does have these very large escarpments on its western bank, which offered a very good protection in theory. Having said that, though, even Hitler said this, how come it was possible to actually force up the crossing of the river? Um, uh, the fact of the matter is, of course, that the, the German troops had been totally wasted and were exhausted. Um, they had been retreating. Um, no proper defences had been prepared, uh, as per Hitler's instructions, and uh, this uh, made the uh, uh, defences uh, much weaker than they should have been. The Dnieper is a huge river, as can be seen, and I think this is pretty accurate in far as the geographical uh, look of the place is. This is an attack coming in the early morning. As you can see, the sun is rising in the east. Uh, we can see artillery coming in from the west, from, from, the, from the east and from the west. The river crossings are under... Um, uh, artillery fire, but the Soviets have crossed the river and are making their way up the escarpments. And as can be seen, the uh, German tank uh, uh, tr trenches are under attack, and the Red Army force is in the sky doing what it can. Down there, you can see a Tiger tank which has been knocked out. I presume it was knocked out by the planes. Though I can see no other way. Maybe there's a there's a T-34, seems to be a T-34-85, which wasn't actually introduced until February 1944, uh, so maybe I have made a little mistake on that one. Beyond that, there is a um, assault gun, seems to be an assault gun, it was an SU-76, I think it was. Um, anyway, so far, I find that one the most interesting diorama.